Hi everyone, my name is Talon Anderson. I'm a student here at KSUM, just finished the master's degree. I'll be a first year medical student. I'm also part of the Apple Genius team, which is basically a team here designed to help you with your iPad. Today, we're gonna to discuss how to set up your iPad right as it comes out of the box. So we have the iPad right here, just out of the box. The first thing you need to do is hit the power button. And you'll know the iPad is turning on when the Apple icon comes up. It'll take a few seconds to boot, and we'll just wait. The first thing you'll be asked to do with the iPad is set up a network connection. This particular iPad that's already been done, you can see ATSU has been selected. No matter what Wi-Fi you're connecting to, select that Wi-Fi, enter the password, and you'll know you're connected once you see the check mark next to ATSU. You also will see up here in the left-hand corner the connections, and basically that says that you have connected to the internet. Click Next. You'll be asked to select if you want to allow location services. Location services are used by various apps. This can be changed per app later on. For our purposes here, we will enable the location services. Click Next. And from here, you can are asked to set up the iPad as far as backing up the device. There's two ways to back up the iPad. You can do that wirelessly over Wi-Fi using iCloud or you can do it to a computer that has iTunes on it. iCloud is a preference for me personally of a lot of other people because it does it automatically in the background. You don't have to worry about it. Everything's saved whenever you're connected to Wi-Fi. You can select it back up to a computer if you're more comfortable with that. Click Next. You'll then be asked to enter your Apple ID and password. Now this is required to set the iPad. You get this from iTunes. If you do not have one, you can set it up or sign in with another one. So we'll enter my Apple ID, the required password. And then it'll add, once that's been entered and it's verified, you'll be asked to verify the terms and conditions. You can have a copy sent to you by email. We'll click Agree. Again, it's asking you that you agree to all the conditions listed. And now it's setting up an Apple ID. Now, because I have had an older iPad that has been backed up on iCloud, it's asking me if I would like to set this iPad up, restoring it from that iCloud service, so I can have it set up exactly like my other iPad. Or I can do show older backups from there. You also may be asked to say, just set it up and, and go forward. So I'm going to click Restore. And this will take some time as it's estimating what it needs to do to set up my particular iPad with everything that I had on my previous iPad. So after the iPad's been restored from my previous backup, you can see you'll come to this screen next, and it's booting up. You'll see the uh, Apple icon, and then the progress right below it as it's beginning to start the iPad for your use. So now you can see the iPad's been restored. This is my last backup. You can see my, it's saying right here, your iPad settings have been restored. Purchase apps and media will now be automatically downloaded. So iPad will automatically begin to download whatever apps and other media you had on your previous iPad if you're restoring from another iPad. If not, you're able to just to jump into it and start setting up the iPad for your own personal use. Slide to unlock. It'll ask you to use Wi-Fi as required to download apps. In the rebooting process, it may kick you out from the network. You can jump into settings and reset that. So pull up here. It's going to ask me for my Apple password to begin downloading the media that I had previously. Again, and this is the same user ID and password you entered to set up the iPad. So from here, and this is the settings. You can look at the Wi-Fi. It's turned on. And then you can select the network that you want to connect to. And it's going to ask me for my password for this network. One thing you will notice is that the iPad is looking at all the available networks you can connect to. Select the one you want to enter the password. Again, I'm connected, check mark. So from this menu, you can begin to add. You can see it's already pulled in my accounts from my previous iPad with the mail. And you can go through and set the settings for multiple applications that are on the iPad to your own preference. And you can see the iPad has begun to download all my previous media exactly how I had it before. And that's the initial setup 
from here, basically, once you have everything connected, you can go through and start playing around and begin exploring apps. Go into the iTunes, iTunes App Store, which is this icon right here. Allows you to go and explore what apps you can download onto your iPad. iTunes Store is also here for various music and things like that. Enjoy your new iPad, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask the help desk or the Apple Genius team.